Do we have to be in a church when two or three are gathered in the house, in his name? How many does it have to be so that God will be in the midst? Do we have to be in the church so that things can be revealed? Pastor Kerry, I put on, is this too tight? Is this too short? Am I showing too much? Am I doing this? Is my hair okay? Should I dye it black? Can I keep my color? Is my nails too long? To hell with all of it! I put on, is this too tight? Is this too short? Am I showing too much? Am I doing this? Is my hair okay? Should I dye it black? Can I keep my color? Is my nails too long? To hell with all of it! I put on, we talking to you. Pastor Kerry, oh, excuse me, we, who is we? It's me, and I'm on the battlefield. The saints have prayed for me. I don't have theology behind my name, but I do know what it is to try the spirit by the spirit. And at this point, Pastor Kerry Juanina Bynum, I'm going to put you in here too. To me, where is the scripture that says that women ought to dress in modest apparel with shame face? We're not shame anymore. And there's something wrong when the Holy Ghost in you don't ever say to you, that's too tight. How is it that you don't think it's too tight? When it's so tight in the front that you can actually see the print of your vagina, really y'all, come on. And it hurts. It hurts because we're the Christians. It hurts and we're the Christians and we looking like hoes. And we done went body con crazy. Everything is a body con dress. Are y'all serious? You the women of God and you and you taking pictures with your shoulder all out like this and you and, and you the woman of God? You the woman of God and your your chest is all the way down here on Facebook. I don't care if you ain't in church. Who takes a picture like that? Because you're confusing us. Because one minute you want to give us the word of the Lord. And one minute you want to tell us what God is saying. And one minute you want to prophesy. And the next minute we see you taking an all out because Juanita Bynum, she came out not long ago, a few months back, about how women are to dress appropriately when it comes to the church. Then you have co-pastor Carrie Turner, who is newly engaged to Jamal Bryant. Oh, she going hard. She filled with it. What that is, I don't know. I can't call it. Are you trying to spirit by the spirit? Or is it a good moment at that time for you to come as you are who are you soliciting to pastor Kerry? is it the young men young men of age 18 and up is it the 20 year olds 18 and up the 20 year olds 20 and up the 30 year olds 18 and up whose minds are still impressionable because yo pastor the front running line pastor Jamal Bryant can't get a man. Is it because the church attendance is dwindling down? So because you're known as the co-pastor with the BBL, I don't know if you got it or not. But is that what you calling in? Is that what's trickling in the church to keep the church afloat? When it's being preached about the mega church to keep the lights on and how to get money while you prancing back and forth, but you ain't giving nothing to work with. Where your scriptures at, woman? Where your scriptures at? Let about every little thing I put on. Is this too tight? Is this too short? Am I showing too much? Am I doing this? Is my hair okay? Should I dye it black? Can I keep my color? Is my nails too long? To hell with all of it! Me, it was pulling off people's thoughts and opinions. It was pulling off their ignorant and ill-informed comments. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The critics that always have something to say. It was me deciding that I had to silence all of the unnecessary chatter. Y'all heard it. She didn't come from the right background. She don't have the right complexion. She is not the right pedigree. Don't y'all know she's a divorcee? She's not quite acceptable in the church mode. Why? Because she too shapely. They say she a little too fine. She, she too outspoken. Her clothes too tight. She is not that modest. She, she's not holy enough. We don't think that she is anointed a love. Given a youth pastor position, you know, even though she don't have any children. 
But anyway, and then she was elevated again to be the co-pastor of the whole church. You, you know, because she's so talented. You mean to tell me that you will allow someone to play with your soul? You will allow this pastor to play games with your eternal destiny? You will allow a man to keep promoting and promoting someone over your souls who is quite false, allegedly, allegedly. How many praying, Bible reading, God seeking individuals have served in that ministry, care about souls, want to help God people, but who do we promote? The ones whose legs we can rub. Lady of God, woman of God, where your tight flow at? What's up with your hair? It looks nice. I see you got a gel down to perfection. Or is that Nairobi that's just gel down with the Lottie body who he likes to talk about it? But we not giving you nothing. Scripture upon scripture, line upon line, precept upon precept. Don't we know that the word is sharper than any two edged sword? So when we out here doing battle, but this woman is telling us about her journey of being a co-pastor. That is not about her hair. It's not about the color of her hair. Oh, that's the outward man you talking about. If you choose to put on a wig, okay, that's your business. If you choose to get you some dark and lovely to cover up this and that, I don't know your age, that's your business. If you choose, Pastor Kerry, to wear a fitted dress when you went to the board or whatever you had to turn in to possibly be selected by the board to be the pastor, don't you tell me that Jamal Bryant was not a part of the process knowing how you looked or did he just simply go off of what he felt from the interview by the board to say she's the one but then you got Juanita Bynum who was the one of the hottest one of the end time prophetess for her time but she calling the women out she's telling you to cover up there was a time when you didn't come to church all openly there was a time when you didn't come to church with your split all the way split there was a time that you if we're not really really careful we will begin to be put in a position where it's almost like we're backpedaling and trying to forward pedal at the same time now you can't tell the believers from the unbelievers now there is no difference and i guess i'm just not understanding how pastors can allow people to parade in their churches looking like that. I've never seen in this hour so many women that are Christians and you're, you are in service, in the service of the Lord, ministering the gospel with your cleavage all the way down here where I can see the crack of your breast. Something has gone wrong. Oh, I know the Bible said we come into the body of Christ. Came to praise and worship to do the right thing so that the distractions would not go out the door because people have eyes and because they already do have eyes and can be imaginative why give them something more to work with when you are a child of God what are you doing to assimilate yourself to distinguish yourself from the world the worldly eyes is people listening to you or are they only focused on what is on the outside and what you are saying to titillate the ear to bring them in it's okay come as you are you can't even do that on a job on a nine to five i don't care if you work as a professional nurse that you buy scrubs to come in matter of fact i saw it right before my eyes it was a particular lady she came in in her scrubs she was color coded. She had her badge on. She addressed everybody appropriately. I'm telling you, this woman wasn't no more than two minutes into her job. And the manager pulled her aside and said, wait a minute, I'm going to have to send you home. The nurse asked, why? What for? 
you're dressed inappropriately and this does not go along in our handbook but where's the handbook in christ where are the church mothers today the church mothers today don't want to be church mothers so those who have turned 40 50 60 they don't want to be church mothers because they want to be the ones out here competing to have the baby elves they want to be the church mothers out here that's still getting the attention from the 20 30 40 young 40 something year olds to feel like they still have it and something to offer. So when the pastor, Carrie, is preaching about her life and how she goes home to have her time with Jesus and she knows who she is, you still wrong, Carrie. You still ain't had that talk from Jesus because all you doing is making it comfortable to be who you are. Now, I understand it ain't about body shaming. Be who you are. But when it comes a time when you got to cover up, when you not trying to not only entice the head pastor, the other co-pastors, the deacon, the women also who's running, helping to run the church and they have their titles because some people just really get off in titles. Whether they're newly engaged or whether they are in merit, whether they are married, stay in your place. Now, I don't agree with everything that Juanita Bynum has to say, but Juanita Bynum did come from a certain time, the T.D. Jakes time. I know, you know, some of us ain't feeling the name T.D. Jakes, so to speak. But when Juanita came out with no more sheets, she was speaking. She was speaking to the heart. Now, I get it. Sometimes people's minds can wander off. Uh, money be can become a very big factor how you would change your message. I, I know Juanita Bynum has been in situations where she's feeling the need, her need, her feeling her need. This thus said the Lord, the Lord said, I, I ain't with all that. I have my own moments where I feel like God is speaking to me. But if God's speaking to me, why can't he speak to you? Why can't God speak to you and say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, let's not be the lost sheep and think we got to go along with everything just because we hear that saith the Lord. And then they use that very authoritative voice. And we think we got to follow order because if we don't sow that seed, then we won't get that blessing. If we don't sow that seed, then this will be blocked. Why well, need to bite them calling how many people up to the front to give how many people? A thousand dollars? If you have it, that's your business. If you feel you are the one to step forth to get it, to give it, that is your business. If you are the one to step forth and you know your mortgage is just about that amount and it is due and you think God is going to do, do a miracle for you that you may be blessed ten times, that you will have your rent, you will have your school children's clothes, that you will have the bill for you to, um, the money to get your surgery. Don't get out here now and not use common sense when God has given us the choice to have free will. Then you got Pastor Ken. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to drag him on up in here too because he recently did an interview with Cam Newton. When he talked about the percentage of the church that actually does give in ties. He can't, see, I'm going to tell y'all what I think Pastor Keon's problem is. He's always trying to give a master class when it comes to tithing. You can't tell me that these pastors are not working together. You cannot tell me that some of the old ways of teaching to get money to how to remain a mega church is not being passed down but you also can't tell me that the churches are not filled like they once used to be and that these pastors are not capitalizing like they once used to now maybe some of these other pastors are but are you in that club because everything has a club everything has an introduction everything has an initiation everything has a contract as to what you have to do deal with promise what you have to do to get into the get, good old boys club, so to speak. If you're going to have a wife, she got a fallen suit too. I don't know if this is this new thing where the woman got to look like boom, boom, bam, so to speak. But you can't tell me that Carrie Washington's message has not been approved for the masses. So after she makes you feel good to be her. And if her body looks like this, why are you out here explaining yourself? If that's just what your body is or if that's just what you pay for, I don't know all things alleged. Be okay with who you are. You talking about you know what the people are saying? 
carry they're gonna say stuff regardless even if you didn't have a transformation of a bbl if that's really what you got even if you wasn't wearing your hair gel down on the side with braids on top and wrapped around people would still have something to say even if you wasn't wearing i don't know whatever the hottest name brands out here i don't know if you got a birkin bag or not or if you're wearing gucci Lucci, um, Luciano, um, Chanel. I don't know. Well, people still have something to say. Like, well, where is the money going? Well, I guess she's spending it on herself. You out here talking about you just concerned about you and your man. Honey, if you in your right mind, you better be talking about you are concerned about you, your God, okay? Your salvation and what difference that you can make while you hold this posi position in the church no we really don't care to hear about you and your man at least i don't maybe some people do but this is when all this false stuff starts to become a facade tell the truth talk about salvation at the cross talk about repentance back this up with the scripture i'm just saying y'all it's some common sense behind this and yo, if um, Juanita Bynum want to have her say, because she started off first, and Carrie, you want to have your say, Juanita Bynum, if you want to come back and have your say about it, yo, let go and let God. Let go and let God. Take off the mask. People are beyond the mask. People can now tell. It's just a facade. People ain't trying to catch up with you, Carrie, because you are your own person, meaning they're not impressed. With the possible car you may drive. They're not impressed with the possible lashes and who the brand is. They're not impressed with the braids that you wear and your hair is cut down on the side. They're not impressed with the necklace that you wear, the dress that you wear, the stockings that you wear, the stockings that you may not wear. The shoes, the brand of the shoes. Juanita Bynum, I will admit, and I can't nobody hold a microphone quite like you. But you even got to know. People are not impressed. People want to hear something real. People want to get back to that old time religion, whether you want to believe it or not. And sometimes you got to change with the times. So what was working, Carrie, what was working, Dr. Jamal Bryant, it ain't working no more. And you got to know that. Because by the time you lay your burdens down and by the time you wake, you can't tell me that God is not penetrating piercing your heart it is time for change it is time for reconciliation god is calling what he has been calling for a true church without a spot or wrinkle it is not about you it is not about you but how can you win souls even when jamal bryan talked about how a lady needed a jump in the church after being fed that good word being on one accord, getting your breakthrough, getting your praise on. How real was it from the masses who was in the congregation? He said he was disgruntled. Not exactly his words, but he wasn't feeling it. That so many people kept passing that sister. And all she needed was a jump. So while this one was possibly getting into their Maybach, while this one was possibly getting into their Rolls Royce, I don't know what she was driving. But whatever she was driving, what wasn't she driving? It still don't make it right. So let's get back to basics for those who can. That's why I'm like, give me that old time religion any day that's for the right thing. I'm not saying just because it's an old time religion church that that's the one to go to. But sometimes it's sure it's a lot easier to try the spirit by the spirit. And it's not so many smoke and mirrors because some of them small churches I've had to be like, as well i'm not into that fashion show i'm not into seeing who got the big hat but at this point it's not even about the big hat sometimes it's about who got the biggest thighs who's got the biggest behind who's got the biggest lashes on who's got the biggest so-called bank account when they can honestly be sitting up there about to be in debt and about to go into foreclosure and just because their kids are looking um well polished are they really able to per provide that private school just because they got lobster on one day steak on another day eating pasta and shrimp another day but then knowing they got to be eating cereal and water just to keep that facade up 
Oh, you're not welcome to the house? Well, why not? Because you, they really might not even have a house. Or they might be giving you a whole different address. Why is that cash app not going through? Why is that Zelle not taking, taking place? Oh, we ain't got to do checks no more. Oh, shoot. The checks was bouncing anyhow. Get back to God. Get back to God. It will all be revealed if you're willing to pay attention. So those who was in the midst of like, oh, I'm about to get married to this pastor. Oh, I'm about she about to be a pastor wife. If it's all that cracked out to be, oh, I'm about to be a PK. My mama about to marry, my daddy about to marry, I'm about to be a PK. Mm-hmm. Some things gonna be revealed to you too. My sister about to marry this pastor. Some things gonna be revealed to you too. Some people want to shun it. Not everybody you can even tell. Some people don't. The people that feel like they are called by God be the ones that want to like who shun when somebody common, common folk. They, they may not even have met them, but they may have a word for them. So I thank God for peace and understanding. I thank God for discernment. I thank God for prayer time. And I think it is a time to keep going forward. And Cat Williams, I can never forget about you. Because when you said this was the year, reveal, reveal, reveal. Keep on doing it, Cat. Hey, the people are listening to you. It is crazy out here. But with all things, God is able.